Good afternoon, Optivians and Metafasters. Welcome to Metafast Mondays. My name is Donna. I'm an independent Optivia coach, and I'm here to share with you some of my favorite fueling hacks and lean and grain recipes. Today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make um, potatoes au gratin. So to do that, I need a um, one package of the cheesy buttermilk macaroni and cheese and one package of the mashed potatoes. You can use either one, the sour cream or the garlic, whichever you have is fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dump both packages into my Ninja because I want to just pulverize the mac and cheese. It has to be pulverized. Um, mac and cheese doesn't have a bad flavor. It just isn't like mac and cheese when you cook it. So, you know, if you do other things with it, it's actually not bad. And typically, I'll take it to work just regular, and then I put a little um, hot sauce and some pepper in it, and it's fine. But some people don't like it, and I happen to have a ton of it, so I need to figure out what how to use it up um, other than just eating it plain. So this is one of the ones I came up with. Anyway, so we're going to put it in the Ninja, and I'm just going to pulverize this. So I'm going to turn this on. It's going to get loud for a second, but it'll be all right. You just want to grind it up so you don't hear any more crunching and crackling because you want to get it pretty much uh, powdered. Perfect. Okay, and that is going to go into a bowl. powder because that's I guess where all the vitamins and stuff are and plus there's cheese in there you don't want to you don't want to throw away cheese that's my air fryer we're gonna use the air fryer for this of course because I'm not turning on the oven okay so that's all ground up it should look like pretty much like flour okay to that I'm going to add two tablespoons of egg beaters egg substitute egg whites whatever it is you use two tablespoons and a half a cup of water. Mm, a little bit. Uh, so anyway, um, happy Monday. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. Had a good weekend. Um, it's been okay here. It's been like, it's been hot, like day after day after day. Plus with the um, the fires up in Shasta County, the weather, the, the air quality is just horrible. Um, yeah can't even go outside because it's just gross so anyway hopefully you know they'll get that resolved soon and so not many people you know many more people will lose their homes and stuff but I don't know it's just fact of life in California in the summertime there's northern California is on fire always okay so anyway yeah I didn't get it in my eye okay so this is the consistency that it's gonna be it's gonna thicken up a little bit. It's gonna sit for a minute and thicken up a little bit. Um, so what I wanna do with that is I have two separate dishes where um, each one of these has an ounce of cheese. And I use the low fat. Um, half of it is mozzarella and half of it is um, a Mexican blend. Um, low fat Mexican blend. So it's one ounce and that's going to go because this is two meals. So we're going to split this in half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the ramekin, stick it in the air fryer and uh, it gets all toasty and crunchy. It's really good. So I'm going to let this sit for a minute just to thicken up. So I'll be back shortly. Okay. So um, it's out a minute to sit, and now I've measured it into two meals. So altogether, this was 202 grams. So I split it each one of these, it's, so it's 101 each, okay? So I'm gonna take my little ramekin, okay? And I'm gonna put half of one in the bottom of it. Don't worry about being exact on this. I mean, it doesn't really matter because at least you know it's weighed out and it's gonna be one meal. This is gonna kinda of puff up a little bit because of the egg in it and because of the you know the macaroni product and, and the the mashed potatoes. It'll it'll all puff up. So this will be good. Anyway, half in there and then what I'm gonna do is one one ounce of the cheese. I'm only gonna put half of it on there. So I'm gonna put in here 
I'm going to put half of my cheese. And then I'm going to top it with the rest of the potatoes. Okay. And then what I'll do, yeah, let's get this and just kind of smear it around and get it, get it as best as you can where it covers the cheese. Um, it's get once the cheese starts to melt, it's going to bubble up anyway, but you know what? That's what makes it good as far as I'm concerned. Bubbly cheese. Yum. Okay. So I'm just going to stir that around, get the cheese covered. And I'm not going to top this with the rest of the cheese yet. I'm going to let it cook for a while, and then I'll put the, the rest of the cheese on there. Because um, I want to make sure that the inside is done and the outside isn't like the... Because if you put the cheese on it now, it's going to get too done and crunchy, and, you know, it'll be like burnt cheese, and you don't want that. So, anyway, um, I'm going to grab my air fryer. I'll be right back. So, um... I'm going to put this in my air fryer for eight minutes on 350 degrees. If you're using a regular oven, I would do 350 and do it for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. You'll judge it because you'll see it starting to bubble. You'll know when it's starting to get get done. But you could you could certainly do it at 350 in your oven. Um, I'm not sure how this would be microwaved. Probably not good. But you know, if you want to microwave it, more power to you. You know, whatever whatever you want to do. So anyway, eight minutes, three fifty. Um, I'll be back in eight minutes. Okay. So I just took this out of the air fryer. I'll show what you what it looks like. See? See how the cheese kind of bubbled up? That's just the cheese bubbling up. So I'm going to top it with the rest of the cheese, stick it back in for five minutes, and then um, we'll take a look at it again. Meanwhile, like I've got my other one ready to go because remember, because my both of these won't fit in at the same time, and I'm not turning on the oven for the sake of doing them both at once. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to top that with the rest of the cheese. And I'm going to stick it back in, 350 for five minutes, back in the air fryer. Um, if you're doing this in the oven, just um, whenever you think it, look, it looks bubbly and like it's starting to, you know, to get pretty done, then just pull it out and put the um, the rest of the cheese on top and stick it back in the oven for, yeah, I don't know, maybe six, seven minutes. You'll know by looking at it because the cheese is going to get all crunchy on top. So anyway, I'll be back in a few. Okay, so my air fryer just went off. This is now done. It's all cheesy, bubbly, melty. Um, I would let this cool for a few minutes because this is hot like lava. So just be careful you don't burn your tongue. Um, anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. So it's kind of... Okay. This is really, oh, it's real. It's actually really good. Um, it's it's really good. So um, make sure you count the condiments and the um, the cheese against your your um, lean and green. The if you have any questions, ask your coach. They can certainly help you with it. If you don't have a coach and you need one, give me a holler. My information is down below. Just let me know if you need help. Um, I am due for fueling, so I'm going to eat this as soon as it cools down enough to where I don't burn my tongue. And um, I will probably, I'm I'm not sure if I'm going to do something else today. I am i don't know. We'll see. But um, if you try this and you like it, or if you don't like it, or you know, if you add something to it, you know how this would be really good. Just saying, throw some jalapenos in there, ooh, or some pepper jack cheese. Use pepper jack instead, ooh, that'd be really good. A little hot sauce on it, yeah. Um, anyway, getting ahead of myself here. So, um, again, I hope you like this. I like it. I enjoy it. If um, if you have any comments, my information is down below. Give me a holler. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I appreciate it if you did. If you don't, you know, it's up to you. It's not mandatory. So anyway, I will see you all later. Have a great week. And I might, I might do, like I said, I might do something else. I don't know. I'm still, it's still up in the air. So anyway, talk to you later. Have a good week. Bye.